Scott, what made you want to be a writer? Oh, gosh. Um, I grew up an Air Force brat. My father was a colonel in the Air Force, so we moved around like every two, three years. And that meant there was a lot of time left uh, for just being by yourself because, you know, you have to, it takes a while to make friends and whatnot. And living in unusual places like Alabama and Minot, North Dakota, uh, lent itself to a lot of time for reading. And I just started writing. I, I was writing short stories very early on. When I went to college, I took some creative writing classes, but I kind of let that slide. I was more interested in songwriting. I did that for many, many years. And so that was my main focus. Did you kind of write your own story for when you had to go to a new school? Like almost your own bio, sort of like, hi, I'm Scott, I'm the new kid in class. Well, the interesting thing, and this has actually paid off as a writer, is that I discovered early on the quickest and best way to make friends is to ask questions and just listen to them. And they think you're the best friend in the world because you're there to hear them and they get into a habit of knowing that you will, whether conscious or not, they know that you will listen to them. And so the relationships, that's problematic because on the one hand, I'm not really revealing much of myself, but I am learning a lot about other people. And so I kind of got, I tell people I got a, an unofficial BA in psychology <laughs> just by being an Air Force brat and moving around and paying attention to all these people and figuring out the dynamics of groups as I would come in and find out where I could fit in. And as you know, as, as a writer, you spend so much time with your characters and doing the same sort of work where you're asking questions to them and about them and thinking about their interrelationships. So, um, in terms of my own biography, it was pretty simple. I was an Air Force brat and, and we lived on Air Force bases. And so people sort of knew what that meant. How did your family embrace the idea that you wanted to write? I realized that wasn't your original plan. No. Um, I think they, they were always encouraging me to their regret. They bought me a guitar when I was 14 <laughs> because I went off to college and graduate school and I was going to become an academic but I was playing music. And my last year at Yale, my graduate program, the three-year master's that I was gonna do before I went in and got a doctorate, I just felt like, it felt like I shouldn't be there. It really did feel like I was not aligned with what I should be doing. And I had this horrible image uh, of myself down the road as a successful teacher, you know, professor at a university in my study, beautiful books, desk, the single banker's lamp late at night in my guitar case in the corner collecting dust. That was literally an image I had. And so I knew that if I didn't pursue that creative avenue that I'd be disappointed. And so I took a year off and that became the rest of my life. So as soon as I started writing songs when I was 14, I knew that there was something about writing and creativity that was an essential part of who I was and I had to pursue that in some respect. 